Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. So as you can tell from the title of this video today, I'm going to be talking about the underrated products from Charlotte Tilbury that in my opinion don't have enough kind of hype around them and that deserve to probably be spoken about more. Charlotte Tilbury as a brand in general is a very kind of overly hyped brand but I do believe that there are some products that kind of miss that hype for whatever reason and aren't as widely talked about as some of the cult products for example the magic cream the pillow talk lip liner and lipstick that everyone knows and hypes and raves about those products are great but i definitely do think that there are some products that no one seems to really talk about that are actually amazing and i'm basically going to be sharing those with you in today's video quite a lot of my favorite products from charlotte tilbury are the ones that are kind of quite hyped up on the internet anyway so i've just kind of narrowed it down to five products in today's video just to keep it nice and short and sweet but if you do want a part two to this video do just let me know by commenting on the video first product that i'm actually going to talk about is an eyeshadow palette and this is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette that charlotte tilbury has ever bought out i am a massive fan of the exaggerize and the pillow talk palette and also the bella sophia which was originally called dolce vita which are the three probably most talked about hyped up eyeshadow palettes i don't really feel like i see or hear many people talking about any other palettes other than those ones that are from the original collection obviously the ones that she brings out their limited edition get quite a lot of hype but this one in particular is one of my favourite and it is the Golden Goddess palette. So Charlotte Tilbury's palettes from her original collection obviously come like this, they are quads. So yeah, this one is the Golden Goddess and this is what it looks like inside. So as you can see, mine's been quite used and abused. I do use this palette quite regularly. The reason why I love this palette so much is mostly for these two shades here. As you can see, these are the shades that I have used the most. But for whatever reason, when you actually look at this palette, it doesn't really look like you'd be able to get a kind of really beautiful look with this. And actually, if you didn't already know I did actually used to work for Charlotte Tilbury on a Charlotte Tilbury counter and whenever I used to recommend this to customers or even when I recommended it to my friends they always looked at it and just kind of was a bit like no I don't really think that that's going to be very nice or I don't think I'm going to like it. It's not until you try this palette on that you realise how beautiful the shades actually are. This palette can give me one of my most favourite eye looks to wear ever. Like that is saying something because I have a lot of palettes. If I'm really really stuck and I don't know how to do my eye makeup up and I'm just in one of those moods where like I can't be bothered to really like think about it but I just want something that's going to look really pretty and quite neutral but also a little bit on the dramatic side I go for this palette and I use it over anything else I have in my collection I absolutely love it the pop shade in here is the most beautiful pop shade ever it's just so stunning it's this kind of golden brown taupey kind of almost grayish color and yeah it's just absolutely stunning I don't really use the top two shades which is a bit of a shame which makes the palette a little bit pricey if you're not going to use those shades like me but I really do think that this palette doesn't really get the hype it deserves I think it looks amazing on the eyes and I will continue to buy this when I run out of it which I'm probably going to need to buy a new one soon to be honest so the next product that I think is very kind of under hyped is actually a skincare product and this is the multi miracle glow balm from Charlotte Tilbury so this is actually a cleansing balm also it claims to be a kind of mask so you can leave it on for about 10 minutes as a kind of treatment and you can use it as a hydration balm as well so if you've got a patch of dry skin maybe like around your nose or even like on your cuticles or your elbows you can use it as a kind of really hydrating kind of balm as well the way I personally like to use this though is just to remove my makeup in the evening so you can massage this into the lashes it's going to remove your mascara your eyeliner and it's going to remove your face makeup as well and I think this is such a beautiful product it really really does the job of removing your makeup and leaving your skin feeling really soft it doesn't strip the skin doesn't feel overly oily so it's not going to leave you with any kind of oily residue but it does leave your skin feeling very sort of soothed and soft afterwards and I just think it does a really good job and I don't actually think that I've ever heard anyone talk about this online which is crazy because it's such a good cleansing balm you also get 100 ml which I think is quite a large amount to get in a cleansing balm I'm not really too sure of how much like a normal standard cleansing balm you would get but I feel like 100ml is quite a lot of product it obviously is a high-end product so it is a little bit pricey it's £45 but I feel like for the amount of product you get and how good this actually is it is worth it so this is about my second or third pot of this so I have had this a few times before and when I have had it it has actually lasted me probably about three to maybe four months because you only need the tiniest little bit so I do think when you sort of break down 
around that price it is a very very sort of reasonable good price for a really good cleansing balm so yeah not really too sure why no one really talks about this I feel like from the skincare it's mostly just the magic cream that everyone goes on about but this is actually really really good as well so if you're in the market for a new cleansing balm then definitely try out this one so moving back on to makeup the next thing that I really quickly wanted to touch on um I'm not going to talk about this too long because this is actually a part of the Christmas collection but she does also bring out other sort of versions of this throughout the year so you can pretty much always get your hands on this it's not necessarily going to be this exact shade but you can find this in other shades online pretty much all year round but this is the instant face palette so as I said this is from the Christmas collection so that's why it's got the kind of star packaging inside this is basically what the palette looks like so I did talk about this in a recent video I think it was one of my haul videos but you do get a bronzer highlighter two blushes and some eyeshadows at the top there as well or you to be honest you could use all of those as eyeshadows I just literally think this palette is like genius like when I travel which quite often I'll go away for the weekend or I'm just going away for a few days I will literally just take this and I have everything I need in there for pretty much my full face and then all I need to take is obviously foundation concealer mascara and that is pretty much it like I have literally got my full face and eyes in this palette and this palette is 49 pounds so I feel like it's a really good price for what you're actually getting in here and as I said you could use all of these as eyeshadows but obviously you've got your face things in here as well I just think this is such a good little palette at the moment I believe they still do actually have this particular palette online this exact shade but they do also have a stoned rose shade I believe that's also available online which I don't actually have and I was thinking of ordering that but I feel like I don't really need it because I do have this one so when I run out of this one I'll just order kind of whatever one they have but yeah the shades of the eyeshadow in here are really nice you've got two matte shades they're kind of matte sort of satin shades they're not completely matte and then you've got a really nice shimmery highlighting shade which I do actually sometimes use on the tops of my cheeks as well if I want more of an intense highlight than this one but yeah I don't really see many people talking about these maybe that's because they're kind of limited edition for most of the time but I feel like they are really really good and um, if you're looking for like a gift for someone or if you're just kind of like wanting to start out with buying your first Charlotte Tilbury product I would highly recommend this because you just have everything that you're ever really going to need for your face in there so yeah love this one going back to skincare another skincare product that I love and again I don't hear anyone talk about and I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about this this is the Charlotte Tilbury eye cream so this is called the magic eye rescue and when I actually worked for Charlotte Tilbury I used to sell this eye cream quite a lot because the ingredients in here are actually really really good for puffiness and dark circles and also anti-aging so this is kind of your all-in-one eye cream it has got an ingredient inside of here which is a slight alternative to retinol so you do want to make sure you're using this eye cream pretty much just at night you can use it during the day as well but just make sure you use an SPF on the skin if you're going to do that but I personally really see a difference in my eyes when I use this I see a difference in the puffiness and in the darkness of my eyes aging isn't really something that I need just at the moment I'm only 21 so I don't really need anti-aging but obviously it's better to start younger to prevent so I'm always happy to have anti-aging ingredients in my skincare products because obviously preventing is easier than curing you get 15 ml of product in here so kind of like your average um, eye cream size you only need a tiny little bit and it's a really kind of thick nourishing consistency so if you get dry eyes as well it's perfect for that how much is this I think it's 49 if I'm wrong I'll put it on the screen but I think the eye cream is 49 which again is kind of like your standard high-end price high-end eye creams are sometimes a lot lot more than that so I do feel like this is kind of like an average kind of high-end skincare or makeup price which I think is quite fair and this will last you about four to five months as well so the last thing that I really quickly want to talk about I feel like this one is a little bit more hyped than not being hyped at all like I do hear people talk about this but I don't hear people talk about it enough for me to put it in that kind of overhyped category this is the collagen lip bath which is basically your kind of standard clear plumping lip gloss it's got a little bit of a tingly feeling when you put it on because it's actually peppermint kind of scented so it does feel a little bit tingly when you put it on the reason why I love this compared to all of my other kind of plumping glosses is the fact that this one for whatever reason this just makes my lips feel so soft and smooth and actually when you put it on the lip it kind of actually plumps the little lines in your lips and smooths them over so your lips literally just look like glass I can't explain it it's just the best gloss 
ever. Like I always, always go back to this. When I find a new gloss that I like, I always end up going back to this because I just feel like it just does the nicest things to your lips. It really hydrates, it plumps, it gives them a really nice glossy shine. It also does come in two other colours now. So this is the clear one. It does come in a peach and a pink colour, I believe. Oh, and also the Pillow Talk shade. It comes in now as well. So I really want to pick up those. But at the moment, I really just do like my clear one because I use it over lipsticks and I use it on its own. If I don't have my lip balm with me, I always use this and my lips feel kind of just as hydrated as they would if I had my lip balm. And that is the reason why I really love it because my lips are dry as shit. Like I literally have the world's driest lips. So anything that's gonna give me a little bit of extra hydration, I'm all in for and I don't feel like every lip gloss does. Some lip glosses just kind of sit on the top and look glossy, but your lips are actually dying underneath. Whereas this will actually help your lips to survive while you've got your gloss on. So yeah, I really do like this product it's £25 so a little bit up there in price but you do get quite a lot of product in here you get 7.9 mil which is quite a lot I feel like normal lip glosses you don't get anywhere near that much so this is one of the original Charlotte Tilbury glosses and I, for whatever reason I can't actually see how much product this has got in if you look at the size difference you can tell that there's so much more product in this one like in the size on the bottom as well this one has so much more product in. This one is £19, this one is £25. So I feel like for the price difference, this one is definitely worth it. And then just comparing it to my lip maximizer from Dior, you actually get six mil in here. And I believe this one is probably even more expensive than 25 So you're getting like around two mil more in this one. So if you're just, you know, wanting to compare size-wise, this one is a lot bigger than your average lip gloss. And yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. So that is everything that I have to show you. That is my top five kind of underrated, under hyped Charlotte Tilbury products. Like I said, if you do want a part two to this video, because there is definitely more products that I feel like don't really get spoken about as much as the other overhyped ones. So if you did want a part two, please let me know by commenting on this video and I can definitely film that for you. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.